Good getting internet, and for some weird reason, when I reloaded the save state, it actually loaded from the end credits of disc 2. Don't know why, but that's okay. Let's head back to Wild Arms 2, shall we? Um, I'm intentionally not showing the save it part, because there's a bit of a spoiler in there. So where we last left off was Ashley's lifeless body floating in space, so that's cool. Yep. Again today, too. I wonder if I could reach Ashley from here. Don't worry, you will. However far away someone is, the strength of your feelings will draw them closer. You're, such, you're so strong for believing such a thing, Alticia. Is there someone you are missing? Maybe I can't believe, but I want to desperately. I think that's a mistranslation? And even when we're close, he feels far away. Is this doing any good? You can hear me somehow, can't you? Come back to me soon. Ashley. Meanwhile... It's Ashley! I'm alive? I, uh, where am I? This is definitely not Vilgaia. Where the hell am I? Uh, it's not a rational introduction, but I'm definitely certain this is not Vilgaia. Remember her? That's right. This isn't the world you were in before. Uh, aren't you? That's right. It's not the first time we've met. When I got the Argit Lamb, the light, we... Yeah, this is the same feeling of protection I got when the Heimdall Gazo exploded. You'll notice in the fan art that I linked to, there was a little protection aura around Ashley. I really like that detail. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the sensation's the same vibrations I get from you now. Please tell me. Who are you? Anastasia. In your era, I guess the Sword Magus is the name I'm most well known? That's right, it's the Sword Magus herself. Huh, you're the Sword Magus. Gotta have blue hair, I mean, you can sell the boat, they both have blue hair. <laughs> Always had hoped we'd have a chance to talk, Ashley Winchester. I've always been watching you. You've been watching me? Remember, the main religion of Filgaia, or at least of Maria Bull, is worship of the Sword Magus. This is literally Ashley dying and talking to his deity. Yes, always. Uh, there are moments where you're a bit pathetic, but then you do something and be very brave and bold. Like, you know, fight Vinsfield. 10 levels lower, 15 levels lower than you should be. But with her, with Marina, you weren't terribly brave for forthcoming at all. Um, Marina's actually, yeah, well, you're blushing now. How sweet. It makes a big sister want to take you in her arms and take care of you. So Anastasia views Ashley as her little brother, basically. What? You're not mad, are you? Sorry, I didn't mean to hassle you like that. No, no, I'm not mad. I'm. It's just I wasn't expecting you to bring up my girlfriend. I mean, um, friend, who happens to be a girl. I mean, we have this really big image of the sword man just being a deity, and you don't look the same as I was expecting. That's so selfish. So you think it's okay to force your will on everyone? 
Uh, what? <laughs> Disappointed? Well, this is the real me. Even your older sister thinks about guys sometimes. Jeez. Before I was a sword magist, I was just a girl called Anastasia. I can't help it. Yeah. You want to go home? Do you want to go to Filgaia? To the world where Marina is waiting for you? Yeah, this is definitely not Filgaia. The world of the living is this side, and the world of the dead is the other side. This is the interval, the boundary between both places. Welcome to the world where Anastasia is. <sighs> See, the way I view Anastasia is being very sarcastic, because she doesn't have the happiest of stories. It's been very glanced on, glanced upon throughout the game, but this is where it truly becomes a, oh, holy crap, what the hell moment. Remember, this is the start of disc two. And as far as we are aware, we have defeated every enemy. There's nobody left. So it's kind of obvious that there had to be something else going on, right? Here, memories from when I lived in Vilgaia remain. It's a ruin of memories. I might be able to make contact with, with Vilgaia from here. If you can imagine Vilgaia intensely, then... Then you might appear, things might appear. Welcome to the memory maze. And introducing a familiar character. This is Lucid, the guardian of desire. That's right, the same Lucid that was the companion of Boomerang in Wild Arms 1 is Anastasia's companion in Wild Arms 2. Guardian Lucid was, if I recall, right. The Guardian is the mind of the former ruler. There's no reason it'd be accompanied by a body, but this one is a is flesh and blood. This Guardian's real. It has enough strength to maintain a body. With that power, they've always protected me. Lucid slay them. Huh. So, later on in the game, which, I mean, we're well, uh, we're beyond the halfway point of the game at this point, but later on in the game, there's a, I don't want to call it a plot point, but there's a point that indicates that Lucid is not they, them. I wonder if that's a translation issue. Then again, they, them is probably not something that the Japanese had thought of back in 1999. Or at least, Media Vision had. Anyway. The Arcate Lamb and the Guardian of Desire Lucid. Yep, nope, that would make sense as well as the power of the supports the Sword Magus. Well, from here on is the space created from my memory. Memories are a matter from the past. Everything from the conscious world, existence equals reality. Uh, what? Ah, well, if you go forward, you'll understand. What happened here will be remembered by uh, as reality by my memory time axis. Sorry. What happened here will be remembered as reality by my memory time axis. That's right. We have Anastasia and Lucid in our party. Remember when I had mentioned that there were eight characters in Wild Arms 2? And kind of faked out with Brad's death and faked out again with Ashley's death? Welcome to the other two characters of Wild Arms 2, Anastasia and Lucid. This is the lowest level I've ever seen them. They are not supposed to be level 15. Her class is Sword Saint, and she has the Argot Lamb equipped, along with an Ankh Cross and a Silver Tiara. You will notice that she has a little bit less strength than Ashley, uh, significantly less vitality, significantly less sorcery, is slower, but look at that attack bonus. 
232 is approaching what Cannon has. I think Cannon had, was it like 280 something? 232 is her strength, that's right. Her defense is also significantly higher than Ashley. And she has significantly higher magic resistance and about the same parry rate. Lucid, on the other hand, has more vitality, is faster, but hella weaker on strength and defense. This dungeon is going to be nasty because, first off, we have three level 15 characters. And second off, Ashley's not allowed to level up. So, this save will be the point where I will do a Let's Analyze of Anastasia and Lucid, which will be interesting because... Ah. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how to test them out at all. This is going to be weird. So, we're not allowed to have Ashley level up, and he absolutely no longer has forgetfulness. So we're going to have to run away from every fight in this dungeon or just kill off Ashley every fight. I don't want to do that. That sounds annoying. So I'm basically going to be running away constantly. Luckily, this is not a very large dungeon. Unfortunately, we are really low level for this place. See somebody up there? Ah, bonk. What is it? Who are you? It's dangerous here. It's in your best interest to leave as soon as possible. No. This isn't the same as us. They've taken on the burden to fight. Oh, so you're a friend of Anastasia? <laughs> a bit narrow-minded, I'd say. They're really reliable. I guess it's okay, as long as you don't hold Anastasia back. I mean, she's freaking awesome. Wait, that kid is... A kid's friend who fought alongside me in another time. Through my memory, you've experienced the past. This isn't a dream. As proof, this chance meeting was perceived in the past as reality itself. Think about something. Think about something long and hard. About somebody that we've met who already knew who Ashley was. And if you want an additional hint, think of the accent I just used. Oh, I can actually cancel out combat. Good to know. Actually, first, I'm going to show you. That's why I save stated. I'm going to show you what combat looks like. Because we don't get to see the two of them very often. Also, imps. So, she has a lot of abilities. So, Impulse, which is a sword attack using the power of friends. Blade Heal, which is a full heal. Then she also has Refresh, which is a cure-all status effects and healing ability on a single target. Providence, which boosts defense and magic resistance values for the entire party. Air Guard, which ups speed for the entire party, so it's quick it's an extended quick. And salvation, which prevents instant death. And death itself. She is by far, far the most powerful character in the game. And we absolutely can equip things on her. Oh yeah, speaking of, I need to swap this out to a weather vane. Oh, this is going to be a reload anyway. 
so defensor Anastasia can attack lucid black rage slash enemy and a high speed dash rage moon damage all enemies wolf fang which is a single attack and the final attack of the werewolf single target poison beam it's fine I have antidotes on here Lucid's attack, which looks a lot like the Wild Arms 1 version, but notice how little damage it does. <laughs> Black Dash. Neom! Again, I'm not, I'm super low level right now. More beams. Impulse. Everything goes white and 2000 damage. Anastasia is level 15. 15. party rage moon I've never had a chance to actually look at lucid with the higher texture quality. He looks weird. Anastasia, on the other hand, looks so. I really like her character model because it's, I think it's actually supposed to sort of look like Marina in some ways, like the same style of dress, but, uh, and yes, we do in fact have fan art of Anastasia. Anyway, I would just wanted to show that. Actually remembering to switch to Weather Vane. Battle is about to be introduced. That that was the blaze of disaster. Yep. It's not just a story, it's a battle that actually happened. The sad sensation. It's not the first time I felt this. It's a part of that other me, isn't it? That's it, right? Yeah. I sacrificed myself to trap the blaze of disaster. That which is within you is Lord Blazer, the blazing demon who once tried to consume the world. Powers. These cursed powers of destruction are the blaze of disaster itself. But power itself is neither good nor evil. It depends on the will of the power's user. Remember, this harkens back to what Ashley told Cannon back when Cannon joined our party. It's like, power itself is not good or evil. I mean, for an example, take a look at what Odessa was doing. They used a huge amount of power to wreak havoc across the world and commit evil acts. But that power could have easily been used by, say, arms to do a very similar thing to 
help everybody in the world. And it sort of has, because we have those, uh, the Gemini circuits for the Emma motor inside of the Valeria Chateau. It's a very similar concept. Right now, the power within you may just be necessary for my beloved Tilgaia. Let's go before it's all too late. By the way, there's no loot in this entire dungeon. She's there again. You! You're not holding back Anastasia, are you? Oh, come on. I'm not gonna use your power with the sword magist and the crimson noble in me. Name drop. Do you remember that title, Crimson Noble? It was said a very long time ago at this point. Blazer is... This person's power is Lord Blazer himself. What? What did you say just now? Inside this person, in his interior space, dwells Lord Blazer. Then you'll seek revenge on someone from Vilgaia? Get away from Anastasia right now! This person is the future Lord Blazer. Oh, sorry. Wrong name. Voice. This future's the. This person's the future Lord Blazer, not the one of our time. He's not an enemy. Please understand. Well, if Anastasia says so, then. This maze is weird. It's completely invisible, basically. Ah. Uh. Uh, it's a boar and an imp. By the way, is there anything that we need to do for imps? Like, are they a creature type that I need to be concerned with? Imp, uh, no, I f can fight them normally. And, yeah, boars have nice things, but I don't particularly need to fight them. Was able to hold the Arcid Lamb in my hands. It was just an ordinary girl who, until then, believed sword training was dumb. I'd never held a sword. But in reality, you fought and beat Lord Blazer. Well, I kind of went all out, but it wasn't because I wanted to win. It's because I didn't want to lose the people that I loved. Besides, I personally hate death really didn't want to die. Ah, well, I mean, that kind of disqualifies you as a Magus. Rather than worrying about the world, I'm just thinking about myself and my family. Um, that sounds awfully familiar. Just saying. Oh, well, there's no special qualifications necessary to get the Arcadlem. That's because I have the blood of the Valeria family. Because I have the blood of the Valeria family doesn't make me a hero. Irving Vold Valeria. 
is a direct descendant of the Sword Magus. Or not. He's not a direct descendant, he's an indirect descendant. We know who the direct descendant of the Sword Magus is from her title, Canon. Canon's supposed to be the direct descendant of the Sword Magus. So what's going on with this family thing? Because yes, Anastasia's full name is Anastasia Valeria. I think she has a middle name as well. I'd have to look up on the fan guide. Was anyone else in my family able to hold get hold of the Archathon? There's no significance of the blood of the Valeria family. Uh, what? <laughs> just now, wait, wait, you, go back. You just said, yeah, my family. I said that there's no significance that I'm a blood relative of the Valeria family. Remember, Irving tried to draw the sword himself and couldn't. Speaking of, this is back when Irving was able to walk without needing crutches. And he couldn't draw it. There's a glitch with the appearance of the sword now that I'm looking at it. Tries to cast a buff spell on himself and gets thrown back. Why? Why do you reject me, Arkad Lam? I'm a true descendant of the Sword Magus. I am a Valeria. That's actually where he broke his leg at, by the way. Whoa. And the sword rejected him completely. That's a really big bed for just a small Irving. Oh, there's just enough of time about the uh, another dream about that time. Why do I have keep having these nightmares over and over again? Irving. Irving, is something wrong, Irving? Irving, I heard a noise. Is anything wrong? I heard a loud voice. Irving. I don't understand. Why does everyone obsess about heroes? Heroes are merely sacrifices made to confront absolute danger. Heroes are merely sacrifices made to confront absolute danger. Let's go back and think about the every time that the term hero has been used. Let's start with our good friend Brad. Brad was considered the hero of the Slayheim Liberation Army. He was there to be a sacrifice because the King of Slayheim nuked his own home. He was the sacrifice that the rest of the people needed to move on. Let's talk about Ashley and Lilka. They were given the title of heroes when they first had, when they had their first encounter and defeated Odessa and uh, with the whole crucifixion bit. Ashley was the one primarily being referred to as a hero. Ashley's the one that released his inner demon, literally, to fight and defeat a member of Odessa. And that was how he was a hero. He was a sacrifice meant to confront the absolute danger of all of the townspeople of a town being taken and presumably left to die if he hadn't done that. This is the point of this game. It's a deconstruction of the concept of a hero. Ah, sacrificial offering. Marina said the same thing. Remember, Anastasia does look a uh, dress somewhat similar to Marina. So I'm assuming that the ties are intentional. I'm obviously not certain, but that's my interpretation of things. And yeah, this video is very heavy into 
video game analysis and criticism. Um, as in critique, not... Yeah, anyway. Um, I could probably write a dissertation on this game. There's a lot of complex themes that have only been briefly hit up until this point of the game. This is the point of the game where everything gets very philosophical. And that's the reason why Marina was so upset by the concept of Ashley being a hero. It isn't, oh, I don't want Ashley to be a hero. He, uh, it's making me feel bad. It's, oh, oops. Uh, oh, the concept of a hero is a really terrible thing. It's a sacrifice. Are you a Netten? Well, you do kind of look like a Netten. That's cool. Uh, are Ettens anywhere else in the game? No. Okay, I actually have to defeat that Etten. Squish. Zap. She is so freaking overpowered. Actually, I want to actually show... Oh. We need you to use Grudev. I actually want to show what Anastasia's other abilities look like. So I am going to show Providence. I'm basically what I'm doing is that I'm save stating to show you what things look like. Zap on Anastasia, that's fine. This is refresh. It's a heal. So 297, that is 297. I don't actually know where 297 comes from. The Let's Analyze for Anastasia is going to be interesting, to put it mildly. Uh, Providence. Standard spell effects, basically. And it increases everybody's defense and magic resistance. Air guard. Same type of thing. Only this thing, this is quick for the entire party. Salvation. Purple. See, notice it doesn't have the same glowing effect as Thanatos X. That is an indication that what it is, is it's re-raise, basically. Or, um, Soul Guard, I think, was the spell in Wild Arms 1. Blade Heal. That is a full heal, if I remember right. And it's definitely dead from impulse. Dead before then. Huh. 
that's interesting. I gained the double gala. Anyway, I wanted to make sure I killed one of those. You can notice that Ashley did not level up from that. I wanted to make sure I killed one of those that... Whoop. I see you up there. Uh, I wanted to make sure I killed one of those that way. I think I might have messed that up. Anyway, I wanted to make sure I killed one of those so it would actually be in my monster album. Because this is the only spot in the game that I can ever find them. re-enter seeing if I need to like time it or something Family was burned to death because of him. I'm alone. All alone. Even though I'm alone, I still plan to protect Vilgaia. I, too, am someone who likes Vilgaia very much. You're not alone. Let's fight together. Figured out who it is yet? I mean, it's not that hard to figure out, to be honest, but... It's also been a while, so. <sighs> oh, crap. That's not supposed to happen. I have the... Yeah, I have the weather vane equipped. It's supposed to prevent surprise attacks from fighting alone. Don't understand. If you only attacked Ashley, we'd be fine. Hey, boo. Blink uh, around, and Anastasia's down. Alright. Fine. What are you doing, Pookie? Hmm. Blink around and stay just dead. Bukini. There's not enough Bukini in this video. Yeah, unfortunately, Lucid is utter trash at this level. I mean, so is everybody else. Can I run away yet? Yes. Cool. Really? Is 
the other side. Really? Ridiculous fighting. Oh yeah, I wanted to check. Does San Stacia actually have any... Nope, no personal skills. That's what I thought. Time for another memory. Fanastasia and Lucid. What's different about me is that I didn't give in to the despair. Despair? Right. Everyone feels it with the Blaze of Disaster. Even though Lord Blazer killed all hope, I never lost the desire to live. Hmm. I mean, I still wanted to eat lots of good food and have fun with my friends. I didn't want to let go of life so easily. That's what was special. I think my power was from desire. I don't really remember my first encounter with Lucid. And yes, Anastasia can pet the dog. Eventually, he was always by my side, but as soon as he became a pre uh, but soon he became a presence I couldn't do without. And that's Lucid for you. A long time ago, he told me that it was my willpower that gave Lucid his power. And now they're using he instead of they. Hmm. I think desire is simply the power of the will to live. Power is neither good nor bad. Never deny it just because it's full of desire. Remember, the granny of desire was with Boomerang because Boomerang had an extremely strong desire to fight things. In this case, Anastasia is the one that has the extremely strong desire. Once more, it's the whole power is neither good nor evil bit. What saved Philgaia from the blaze of disaster was desire. Well, the truth is, what I'd been told all along and what I'd imagine is not the total truth. I am... Um, the Sword Magis is a hero only by convenience. She is a sacrificial offering to the Sarah. Her decorated body is a good camouflage. If that's not done, those who survived cannot feel good about the sacrifice. That's what it means to obtain excessive power. This is applicable to you now, too. So remember, Gaia formed a religion around the Sword Magus' sacrifice. That's what it meant by... Yeah, um, that's the only reason why there's a religion around the Sword Magus. The Sword Magus isn't quite an analog of Jeanne d'Arc. Uh, the Sword Magus is more of a... When all hope was dead, somebody rose up and went, Yeah, no, I still want to have delicious cookies and I'm going to attack you. And I kind of say that in jest, but that's basically what Anastasia just said. Her story is really sad, because basically nobody else was willing to do that. No one wanted to be the sacrifice. And what she's indicating is that Ashley is going to have to make that same sacrifice. But you still want to go back to Philgaia? 
Yes. <laughs> you say that with no hesitation. All right. All right, I give up. You win. Okay, I'll go. Uh, soon my memory will be interrupted. And... Everything gets weird. Trixie. Anastasia risked her life to trap Lord Blazer. Trapped, that is all. He was not destroyed. He was just trapped beyond the event horizon. The power is only strong enough to destroy him now. Well, if not today, maybe tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, then another day. Tomorrow will be stronger than we were yesterday, so we'll eventually get enough power, right? Oh, what, the, what has been trapped will one day be released. Let's fight together. That's what you said. Can your word really be trusted? Yes. Then it is a promise. When Lord Blazer's powers once again begin to destroy Vilgaia, we'll fight together to destroy him and vanquish him from Vilgaia completely. I'm so relieved to hear that. The lives of the immortal Crimson Noble are returned. Until you and I meet again, I'll have to take a break. Do you remember who she is now? Here's an another hint. We've actually seen her during this episode, beyond those little cutscenes. That's a lot of bouncing things. Crap. I don't think they have any magic other than poison beam, so that's not that big of a deal. Oh no, that's right, they have wind edge. I don't know. Hitting me. It's gonna die. Can you run away yet? Thank you. Hey, boo. My memory goes no further. It becomes a world of emptiness. Because Anastasia only lived to be, what was she, 15? 16? Can you imagine a 15 or 16 year old in reality making that type of sacrifice? I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. And this is kind uh, this is once more a deconstruction of the hero trope because for JRPGs you constantly hear about these JRPG heroes being like, I'm gonna save the world and I'm 13 years old. This is a deconstruction. This game is basically going, hey, look, the concept of a hero is bull. A hero is just somebody who's used as a sacrifice so other people feel better about what happened. To prevent some big disaster when we could have worked together earlier to prevent that disaster from happening to begin with. But if you imagine well, all your will, all your powers into Filgaia, you wish uh, will yeah, but if you imagine, will all of your powers into the Filgaia you wish to return to. The road will appear. That, that's just really grammatically awkward. The Filgaia I will return to. World I'm in, it's I'm 
Meanwhile... It's very faint, but there's no mistaking it. It's the empathite pattern from Ashley's communicator. Can you locate his position? It's hard to say. Signal's so faint, ordinarily we wouldn't even be able to receive it. It's gonna take some time, and also... Well, with the guy in the, in the state that it's in... Uh, well, please do your best. I'll gather the arms members now. Understood. I will try to. That's right. This has not been the next day or anything like that. That's all we know at the moment. In other words, Ashley might still be alive. Yes. I don't mean to ruin their mood, but if the signal is so faint we can't locate its source, how will we conduct a rescue? Uh, you are correct, we don't have an exact point yet, but I do know the general area. We have no other choice. This is the... Sword Cathedral. The coordinates are correct, but the axes are wrong. It could be connected to a parallel universe. But how? If the axes are wrong, we need to link from the side. Do you know how to do that, Lilka? I think so. I hear Silge has a magic artifact for generating a space-time gate. Do you mean the Millennium Puzzle? The very thing that we started the game with. With Lilka. I started with her for two reasons. One, to make it where the very first set of lines in the game passed back, Del. And two, for this reason. Because it's a callback to the very start of the game. So you'll do it? But... Loka, we need your magic. Only a Kresk sorceress can control the gate, and we only have you. Alright. The rescue operation will commence today at 1400 hours. We are going to rescue Askerly Winchester. What are our chances of success? So low, I don't want to tell you the number. But it's not zero. That helps, right? Dick. Oh, it's that low. Even if the chances were 1%, that still wouldn't be zero. What is the distance between zero and the number you are thinking of? Don't worry about it. The important thing is that we don't give up. Yes, you're correct. Thank you. Remember, this is how Loka lost her sister. And it's pretty obvious Loka has some feelings for Ashley. There's the Millennium Puzzle. Millennium Puzzle... Open the gate. This is going to be a super long episode. Because we still have not hit a save point this entire time. Welcome back to the Millennium Puzzle. Take two. Start with the Millennium Puzzle with the start the Millennium Puzzle with the switch blocks. It's about 1500 whatever unit that is. to Ashley's salvage point. If all five switch blocks respond, you can tune the coordinates. To link to the other world, start the large switch blocks, the big generator. Once you're done tuning, the puzzle's space will lose its structure and become unstable. That's why there's only a few chances to start the generator. A few minutes, uh, more like a few seconds. Everything's up to me. I've got to get it together. I must trust my magic powers. That's right. Luca is the leader of the party. We have everybody but Ashley, which means we don't have to care about who levels up what. Actually, I think I'm going to go like this for the party, for the time being. I think that's actually the speed order. Alright. So yeah, basically... This is what Loka was trying to do to rescue her sister. So 
there anything in here I have to really care about? I don't think there is. Nope. Yeah, I can't get through that, can I? But what I can do is that. Of healing. Three red. All right, one down. Four more to go, or three more to go. the rest of these we might connect. Yeah. There we go. I was surprised. Ah, that thing's ugly. It's using a fire crystal on us, eh? Primevals. Primevals. Anything I care about in the these primevals? Uh, no. Uh, no idea what they're weak against either. If anything. Got one. That's probably enough to kill it. Yeah. why we have Ken in our party. She is definitely our best character for this section of the game. I'm going this way. Okay, that lowers that. Where's that? That slides those. Oh, I can't move while that happens, okay. That stinks. Can I hit it from here? Yes, okay. That makes things easier. Anyone even injured? Yeah, they're a little injured. And now they're not. Okay. Oops. Can't really get to the other locations right now. but I can get to there. Cannon must fight alone. Well, that sucks for you. Because you're dead. <laughs> Deft. Good job, Cannon. Yeah, Cannon doesn't really have the same character model at all as Anastasia. Poor Anastasia, I feel so bad for her. One blue. So it's three red, one blue. I should probably write this down, shouldn't I? Uh, I guess I have an Excel window open still from the Let's Analyze, so... Three red, one blue. Alright. We've done those two. Next. 
Oh, there is actually a save point in here. I wish I would have known earlier. I'm actually at an hour? Huh. You know what? I'm actually going to finish the Millennium Puzzle with this video. That was what my intention was. I was already planning on this being a super long video. Where's my save? Crap, I'm going to have to play back through this section of the game because the save state messed up. Oh, piece of crap, that sucks. I'm going to intentionally skip a spot. I'm going to have to go back through for Let's Analyze anyway. I think this is the correct way. Yeah. I'm going to have to go through... Oh, nope. This is where I need to go later. Never mind. Um, for the Let's Analyze, I'm going to have to go back and get to that point again, which means going through all of the Heimdall Gasso. Not all. No. Most the Heimdall Gazo. All right. This one's easy enough to do without um, freezing anything. I'm really confused by the concept of the Millennium Puzzle. I'm less confused this time playing through. But this place is just obnoxious. Okay, that's one of... I have two different spots I can go to. This is what I mean by I'm confused by the layout. It's because it's like there's multiple ways of doing this, and I really don't know what way makes the most sense. But whatever the first way I choose is seems to always be the right one. Oh, that's what that one does. Okay. Go up to the other path, I guess. We haven't been here before. We've been on the underneath part. Why did I cancel that out? I'm fine with random counters right now. This brings me back here. And see what I mean by it's like, I don't understand why... It's not even much of a maze. It's more of an annoyance. You know what I mean? Let's go back. I can't go back, can I? Because there's actually a gap there. Cool. That means I have to go all the way back. That's really what I wanted. Let's try this again. At least it wasn't far. Just, it's annoying. Know what I mean? Well, that was a green exclamation point. That's right, we don't have Ashley right now. Everything's much lower level. There. Not what I want to do. Everything's just a waste of time anyway. Oh. Two green. Last one of 
please. Was that earlier passage. <sighs> Some dungeons. This is the one that moves. I can tell because it was purple on the side. The rest of them have different color shading. I want to see what this battle is. Targums and Grobla Groblisks. Those are creepy looking creatures. Okay, let's see. Grabisk. They drop spoons, and you can pickpocket mega berries from them. Targums. They drop full revives, and you can pickpocket mega berries from them. All right. Angle on. Going to you, but I didn't think she was going to be fast enough. Ow. Giant knuckle! You punched a kid in the face! Got two Mega Berries, that's pretty good, right? Sweet, full revive. I can use some of those. Yeah, somebody in the comments was telling me, oh no, you shouldn't use the full revive. There's a limited number of them in the game. No, you can pickpocket them, and I knew that. That's why I didn't care. Ah. I can't move while those blocks are moving, by the way. Thought I should mention. Where exactly does this get me? It gets me nothing. That was a huge waste of time. That also gets me nothing. Cool. Um. I think I might have backtracked. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Now hit this, which will bring the block back, and now I can move around. Okay. Barely. Because now I can stand here and hit 
fat block. Which I don't need to hit right now. Ugh. Puzzle dungeons. yellow. And technically I could have done it without going through this entire section up until the last part. So four yellow. All right, we've gotten all of those, so I can pop open the little spreadsheet that I used. Four yellow. is one blue and three red, two green. By the way, there's a lot more than just two Millennium Puzzles in Wild Arms 3. Null. Just no. Right, and boop. Millennium Puzzle 2.0. Achievement unlocked. I have no control at this point. We can move this. The gate will open. Luca? There's no time. Start it immediately. Yeah. It's impossible for me to do after all. It's just like that other time. Um, let's retreat for the time being. It's all right. Next time, we'll do better. Hey, thanks. I'm fine. It's easy. This is still something Loka can't do. It's not that easy. The guy should be at the end of this tunnel. But there are no road markers en route. Well, regardless, I should go there. I have to go back home. Is that... The glittering light of the Empathite? It's a light that cares for you. Cares greatly for you. I'm gonna go venture forward and relying on that light. Let's go together. No. This is the world that I belong. The other world's a place where I can no longer be, so... Wait, really? But I've gotta go. I don't want to be left alone in a place like this. I never wanted to hold the Arcid Lamb. I was afraid to fight. I only wanted to be... I never wanted to be called a holy woman. I didn't want to die. That's right, I didn't want to die. I had no choice. In order to save all I loved, I had to fight. 
love talking about just nothing with my friends. I was happy to just be able to spend time with my mother and father. I even had someone I liked, but only by giving up everything was I able to save the world. I didn't want to know how to put it in the wood world. Ah, I didn't know how to put it into words, but I knew. I had to die to become a hero. Wouldn't have been able to get rid of the blaze of disaster. Everyone, everyone wanted it. They wanted me to die. It's the lights encroaching. I'm not going to come back to Filgaia to become a hero. Then why are you going? My motives aren't that different from yours. I've got things that are important there to me, too. To protect what's important, rather than become a hero as a sacrifice, I'll find another way. I'm sure you'll find another way. Please find a way. And stop the suffering of the Valeria. I'll be okay now, even if I'm alone. Thanks for everything, Lucid. Now, I need you to lend your strength to him. Please, stop the suffering of the Valeria family. If my feelings are strong and pure enough, they'll reach you. If you hear me, please answer. Ashley. I've never done that before. The light. The warmth, the smell, whoa. it's so soothing, it's like he's right here. Ah, start here again. Oh yeah, you haven't started yet, have you? You'll be okay. Everyone's here because I'm gonna do my best because you're here to help fight too. This is the point in the game where Ashley stops revering the sword Pajas and just sees her as a friend. Hey. Hey, no sleeping on the job! I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be bitch, but... Wake up! Uh huh? Uh huh? Who's 618? Ugh, that's early in the morning. Assemble all members immediately. If they're asleep, slop them away! Okay, that's a little violent, but sure. The empathite pulses from his communicator is strengthening. We have finished transmitting to all countries. There's a temporary freeze on all use of empathite. There'll be no interfering signals now. Remember, we have defeated Odessa. We united the entire world to let us go defeat Odessa. So the world at this point kind of owes us a favor? Sort of. Only 0.764 points until Empathite Pulse reaches critical level. If we receive that signal over that level, we could locate its source and we can begin the rescue. Chief! Oh, I didn't even see you there. Is it true? Is it true that Ashley's coming back? gone and come back with something evil. It had to be this way. I and no one else will hunt you. Meow. Quickly! Sorry, quickly. I have to tell them now. Meow. Uh, Loka? Where'd you go, Loka?
Luca's just running. Running into the bakery. He's late. He said he'd be right back, but he's late without calling again. At this point, I'll listen to any excuse. Ashley. Even after making all those promises, he's still like this. Where were you until now? What the world were you doing? Always. Always. Uh, don't be so silent. Say something! That's different. That's not what I wanted to ask you. What I really want to know is... Right now? Yes. Welcome home. Oh, there you are. Hey, listen. Ashley is... Yeah, I already know. We came here to tell Marina. Are you crying? Why are you looking like that? Hold on a moment. So, um, down in the description, I will have a link to the fan art for this. I actually didn't get permission for this one, so I don't want to change my agreement or anything. So, I'm just linking it down below. But, oh, this is the point where thousands of thousands of people want Marina to die for their ship. Because Lilka's in love with Ashley. And Ashley's in love with Marina. Ashley's coming home. Aren't you happy? Of course I'm happy. How can I not be happy? I'm happy, happy. I'm very happy and just a little bit lonely. <sighs> this is probably where I should call it, but I need to get to a save point. Because I don't want to keep this running overnight. You know what? I'll just use save state. It'll be fine. Um, hope you've enjoyed this internet. Um, this has been a very, very lot intensive episode and it's been an hour and a half long a little less but um speaking of this is the this is actually the first background when i was looking through the wild arms two backgrounds that i wanted to grab because no one ever ever has fan art of anastasia and lucid and this is anastasia looking over at the memory temple up in the distance that looks a lot like the Sword Cathedral. I hope you've been enjoying my Wild Arms 2 Let's Play so far. Uh, hopefully by now I've come up with a new thumbnail because I was supposed to have a new thumbnail for disc two. Um, also, I will hopefully actually remember to upload the, uh, the intros for Wild Arms 1 and 2 both in English and in Japanese, because I kind of need to do that and kind of haven't done that yet. I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and yeah, these have been some emotional videos. I have some pretty strong ties, and I'm going to be talking about them in subsequent videos just because I didn't want to cram everything into one video. This is already really long. See you next time, internet. <laughs>